let us check out where our space boots are and let's look at our fancy yeah okay that's that's not really helpful at all okay so let's just kind of make it up um actually a little help yeah okay so i want the top of the space boot to kind of interact with the top of the bell bottom so let's kind of just see if we can do that without making it look really dumb uh I'm gonna. I'm not holding my breath here, but I think it's gonna look really dumb. Okay, let's turn off proportional editing. Kind of pull this up a little bit. Let's actually pull up all of these. See if this looks really dumb. Uh, or approaching really dumb or Smurf shoes. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Maybe if we pull this up a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't particularly like it. Okay, let's pump it up a little bit, but not superbly high like we had in the concept art. Concept art not always works in actual 3D. Sure, let's pull this up. Uh, let's turn off proportional. Let's pull this up a little bit. Just a little poof. And that looks good. Okay. Um, what I want to do is I want to add a, actually, how are our edge loops doing? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add a little uh, texture to the bottom of our space boots. And to do that, again, we're going to take this shape and separate it. So shift D, enter P, and now we have our little version over here. And it's not 100% accurate, so that's kind of meh. But we don't need the whole shape. So this is going to save us from having to make lots and lots of polygons and loops in the rest of our mesh. And I'm 100% okay with that. So let's kind of pull this in, pull this in, make it smaller than our shape. And let's start adding in treads. So that's so four, four loops in each. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just grab every other one. Do, 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 do. This is my song of selection, and I think it's pretty wonderful. Okay. Uh, and now just kind of drag it down and select all, extrude, pull up. So now we have treads on our shoes. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> Moving on now. Um, so also, if you guys have been noticing, I haven't been cleaning up the polygons on the backside. Uh, I would normally do that, but kind of for well, actually, let's 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 do that. We're, we'll we'll have an entire video on cleaning up a mesh and optimizing it. Let's do that later. Okay, so just remember that we've got these treads, and let's turn them off. Let's see what it looks like with the rest of it. Great, awesome. The little bits matter. Okay, put that little helmet bag on. Okay, so. We have reached the point where I would like to start editing the actual suit underneath the external suit that we've been building uh, because I think we don't need to have super clean geometry there anymore and we can actually just kind of like work with it. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to start doing that. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to add in, let's say, four there, and I'm going to select every other one, I'm going to pull them in, and shift E, just a little bit. Now I've added these little ridges to my spacesuit suit there, so instant detail, yeah! Okay, so let's do that here, one, two, three, four, and select every other one. 
Uh, actually, let's put five in there. Or er, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and select. This is also going to give us lots of uh, geometry if we care to. Doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. So or not extrude, but scale, and then Shift E. Decrease it a little bit. Now we have that, and we can actually go as far as this and kind of check that out. Okay, over here, let's do the same thing to our wrist. We only need, let's say, three. Okay, so doot, doot, scale in, shift E, scale in a little bit more. Oh no, uh, not extrude, scale in, shift E, so we don't extrude this monkey anymore. And let's add in some more aspects here. So I want to select this, or select nothing, Z, select, and oh, I'm going to show you a cool trick. Select this, select this, uh, all right, and let's go over here, grab these. Okay, so we can switch from median point to individual origins, and if we hit E and then extrude, or and then scale, it'll scale up the median point of all those objects. So now we have like little poofy finger pads in the front, and we should probably also do that for the knuckles. Let's grab this, and that's about right and extrude and scale and what we want to do is also add in the rubber there okay let's see what's going on I actually want to uh, ah <laughs> oh man Sometimes working in subdivision mode is extremely annoying. So let's grab those, shift E, kind of plump them out. Let's actually do that for these as well. Shift E, kind of give us these little pads here. And let's actually remove these down here because they don't really matter too much. Um, okay. Assign to cloth. Okay, and let's add in this little ring here, change it to rubber. We don't really need to have it poof out a little bit. We're good there, we're good there, we're good there. And uh, yeah, we're we're all set. Okay, so hands are good. Let's continue adding a little rubber crease points over here so oh this one's going to be a little bit harder so control r now ah control r scale up let's say three four okay doot 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 actually that uh let's three one two three and then here we go, extrude in, shift E, okay, and let's do the same thing with the thighs, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, doot, 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 okay, uh, Scale, Shift E, okay, and more flex points down here. We might want to actually change the color of the crotch because that's not working with the way our objects are doing. So doot doot, uh, scale, Shift E, okay, and down here let's add in a little bit more. Doot. doot. So we can easily undo this. It's just kind of a 
a pain and a lot of just deleting edge loops. Shift E. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So we have that pass done. Okay. So in our next video, what we should do is try to figure out what to do with our crotch and maybe shrink this down and add a little bit more rubber in. I don't want to have written on our tutorials editing the crotch. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be our secret code word space plates. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Shift D. Duplicate. P to separate. And now let's move elsewhere. Okay. And let's edit our crotch plate. Ha. Ah, crotch plate. Okay. We're going to scale it out a little bit. Then we're going to extrude. Scale it in a little bit. Scale it on the Z axis a little bit. Actually, we need to switch this back to median point. Scale it on the Z axis so it doesn't act funny. And let us select the whole thing. And we're going to change from rubber to white plastic. And now we've got our little plate thingy here. Let's also make sure to hit Control N to flip all the normals outside, which is not the current problem. Select all the edges on the periphery, and even these ones. Do do. Actually, let's let's do this for now and uh, Shift E. See where that brings us, and what we need to do is up here, there, Shift E, kind of that stuff, and. Let's do that over here, too. Okay. So now, let's tweak our points a little bit. Uh, pull these up and in. Pull these back. For our space, our plastic space diaper. And let's pull this in. Pull it down a little bit. And now that should kind of fit. Let's actually make sure that this is pulled up. This is pulled up. So we have a intersecting piece of geometry. That's awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So this is starting to look pretty good. Um, at least for like the time spent on it and our goal of making a cartoony kind of character. Okay. And let's look up here. Uh, let's uh, do the same thing we did back there but up here. And... Yeah, looking good, looking good. Okay. Okay, so now what we should be doing is let's go over our object and make sure that all the materials are, are what we want it to be. So I want to make sure that the this plate is a white plastic plate, and I want other aspects to be uh, rubber instead. So this will be replaced with white plastic and okay white plastic Boop. or not we're not replacing rubber with white plastic we're going to be adding it so add and then white plastic Boop. assign and let's actually kind of assign it to this plate up top too so Anything superficial out here. Kind of select it. Select that. Whole setup. This, 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 this. Um, I believe this area is usually made out of cloth or like a stiff cloth. So let's keep it like that. Let's assign white plastic to that. So we have our whole little top in our groin set up down here also the similar pieces parts um, this I believe is white metal good and white plastic why is this acting funny all right let's make sure that our normals are flipped correctly that is what was happening um, let's change our kneecap to white plastic Make sure that our plate here is plastic instead of cloth. Boop. 
and booties are cloth. This little part is cloth. Okay, and between the arms is cloth. Let's actually kind of differentiate the cloth a little bit more. Let's darken it a little bit so we can see what's going on a little bit better. Um, maybe these bell bottoms should be plastic because it's nice. Yeah, it does look pretty okay. Okay, um, yeah, this is looking pretty good. So, let's actually change our plate here, not to front, to not visor, but to white plastic, so that it won't be, you know, clear when we actually render it. Um, okay, so, yeah, yeah, I think we're at our stage where we're going to start messing with the shaders themselves and try to make them look kind of good and starting a little render setup okay so in the next lesson we're going to be going over materials All right see you next over and let's actually add in a second view so right click down here split area and what we're going to do is we're actually going to split these areas again and we're going to go and believe it or not let's just have a UV image editor window down here and up here that's cool this is going to be our viewport where we're going to be moving things around um, let's play with cycles okay so first thing we have to know about cycles is that it is a unbiased render engine which means that it will render forever until we tell it to stop so let's create a little plane and also cool fun fact about cycles is that a light is not really a light it is a emitting object so let's make a quick little lighting setup so let's have this plane 90 degrees rotated on the side scale this up let's make it kind of big and let's actually put another one on the other side now we have two planes okay let's add a new material let's call it emitter let's assign it to both of these where are you emitter okay actually let's change it to light light okay so here is where the magic begins we're gonna change a couple settings first and what we're going to do is we're going to switch to cycles render engine. So up here we can switch the render engine. So beep, we're now in cycles. We're going to switch our device from CPU to GPU because I've got a NVIDIA card that can pump some CUDA out. All right. And now over here what we can do to see what our render looks like is click on this and switch it to rendered. So now we have a real-time-ish render of our object. So there is a light, it is emitting, but we can kind of like drag it around, etc. Or we can delete it. So I'm going to delete it, and there's some other options to mess around with. Let's go and find them. Where are you? Okay. So we can change our color of our background to nothing. So now we can have a more accurate light setup. Let's now go to our materials, and lo and behold, our materials have changed. Oh boy. Okay. So what we have to do is hit use nodes and we need to switch our surface type from BDS, uh, <laughs> BSDF to uh, a emission shader. And now we should be able to see our little spaceman, but with lighting from either side. And we can increase the strength of this. Uh, we can also, if we scale our shapes up, we can also see what that looks like. And another thing about cycles that's really cool is color bleed that's a thing that's awesome uh, let's pump it down to 10 let's kind of rotate this bad boy a little bit over here I'm gonna do this and let's pull our camera back over here so I'll pull the camera up pull our camera up so we can kind of see our dude in the shot okay 
and undo that because that just launched it off into space. Sometimes I have issues when recording where it just kind of like hurls my can hurls whatever object I've got a million miles if I go off screen. Okay, so let's see what it looks like here. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now let's do some more material tweaking. And as it turns out with cycles, this stuff is pretty easy. So use nodes. And now, well, this one we kind of want to be a very, very reflective surface. So we can switch from diffuse to, where are you? Um, I believe it is glossy. And so now we have a super reflective surface. And we can change the roughness. So if, if you guys are familiar with PBR, this is kind of like that where it's uh, affecting little microsurface stuff. And so material is now going to be sun visor. And let's actually move it to another channel, or at least so that we don't see it here. Uh, this is in that channel. That's good. And let's just make sure that it is in a different one so we can actually see what's going on elsewhere. Okay. <clears throat> move our visor back we don't we want our sun visor to be elsewhere let's move this over here and now let's put our setup back together i love how it updates in real time that's the most important part of this wonderful thing use node let's switch this to uh there should be a glass shader yeah it's fine let's do transparent all right and uh lo and behold we can see inside of our helmet that's kind of awesome, and we have no eyeballs. We need to give our get our eyeballs back. Oh, that's pr this is awesome, by the way. Um, so uh, there are there are more advanced uh, options for this kind of shader to actually kind of make it look really sweet. Um, let's go ahead and convert the rest of our materials over to cycles. So white plastic. Let's go to use nodes, BSDF, roughness, and we can choose how rough we want this to be so we can kind of make it shiny or not. But we're going to have to do a simple node setup for this. So actually, no, we don't even have to do that. So instead of doing that, we can hit uh, go to a mix shader, boop, and we're going to mix our diffuse sh shader. Where are you? There we go. And we're going to take shader two and mix a glossy shader in so now it's going to be shiny and plastic and we can also determine how far each one goes so if we want it to be shinier we can switch it over there or we can pull it over here for it to be more diffuse let's uh, have it a little bit more shiny and let's drop the rough uh, let's increase the roughness because it's a plastic about there so we're getting a little plasticky look. Awesome. And let's start working on cloth. Okay. So this is it's super easy. It's fantastic. Uh, use nodes, diffuse, uh, velvet. <laughs> no, let's not use velvet. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to diffuse. Okay. So color is just about good. Roughness, let's pump that up a little bit more so it catches the light more like cloth wood. So we're immediately getting a result closer to what I want. Let's change the color a little bit. Let's kind of darken it up a little bit to differentiate it from the white plastic. And let's move on to rubber. So use nodes. So rubber is a common, another combination where it has a mix between our diffuse and our, our glossy shader and what we need is to lower the roughness or bump the roughness up change the color to kind of like a grayish black and do the same thing down here Oop. and let's uh let's mess with the roughness to see if we can add in a little bit a little bit of shine to it like rubber would be so kind of like a dull plasticky look all right that's looking pretty good okay so um in our next lesson we are going to be working a little bit more with materials we're gonna finish it up a little bit and uh keep on going all right 
Happy blood. Here we need to make some brass. So let's select our plastic. Let's select our brass. Let us select use nodes. Diffuse. And actually all we need is a glossy shader. So let's switch over to that. And it is up here. Oh, that's where glass was hiding. Okay. So glossy. And let's reduce the rough, roughness because this metal has been existing in a atmospheric environment or in reality at some point. Uh, let's actually make sure that everything here is smooth. Smooth. Okay. And let's change our plastic to a more plasticky color. Use nose, diffuse, uh, add in our mix shader. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. Shader. Glossy. And where is our diffuse? Okay, that's looking okay. Let us change the colors a little bit. So red, that's fine. Red, kind of dull red. Darken it a little bit. Darken our glossy chain a little bit. Okay, and let's rough it up. So it's more like plastic. Let's see where we lie on this. Uh... Shininess maximum, okay. Okay, that's, uh, let's try to get somewhere with that. Okay, so our brass is starting to look brassy. Let us go to our helmet. Let's change our white metal. Use nodes. And, lo and behold, let us go to our, where are you again? Our glossy shader. Boop. Uh... Add some roughness because we want to be able to actually see things. Okay. And that's looking pretty cool. Okay. And. Okay. So let's see. So we can see the inside of our neck. So we should probably tweak that. Um, and I'd like to edit the eyes a little bit. Okay. Skin. Let's actually go to the eyes. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Where is our lighting setup? Okay, there it is. Okay. So, let's select our eyeballs. Okay. So, let's start working on this, this fancy thing rendered. Okay. So, iris. That's kind of... Uh, let's uh, start working on the sclera. Use nose BSDF diffuse uh, mix, and we want to mix. We want to mix diffuse, and we want to mix glossy. And let's switch it more over to the glossy side, and let's lower the roughness because this is a fairly shiny kind of affair we've got going. And it's definitely reflecting the lights a bit. Um, okay. And yeah, that's looking kind of good. Okay, so let's move on to the iris. Iris needs to be reflective as well. Let's let's just see what the glossy shader can do on this. Oh, geez, that is way too reflective. Let's bump up the... Oh, wow. That's looking pretty cool. Okay, and pupil. Pupil needs to actually be very glossy because it's going to basically shine back whatever reflects into it. Okay. And let's click on our mouth. Mouth needs to be wet. Add nodes. Glossy. Uh, pump it up a little bit because we don't want it super glossy and... Let's actually, let's actually do a mix shader. So, uh, whoops, I don't want to mix a mix shader. I want to just do a glossy and a diffuse. Where are you? Diffuse, 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 diffuse. Okay. So, let's go back to our mouth-ish color. Kind of dull that down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to eyedropper that. Let's rough it up a little. Uh, actually, no. Let's pull it down. See what's going on here. 
Okay, that should be pretty good for right now. Um, so we have pretty cool looking eyes. We got our shaders starting to come together. Let's go back to our visor and let's actually switch it from transparent to our glass shader up here. <laughs> so that is refracting and let's do something closer to one or like 1.1 1 .1 or something even closer to 1.01 .01. yeah and we can rough it up a little bit so it's a little we can actually make it more opaque with the roughness which is cool um and yeah it's looking looking pretty good okay so other options that we can do with this fancy cycles thing is if we go back to the rendering tab. We can look down here at sampling and we can see what how many samples this thing goes up to. So uh, we can pump this render up to a lot more or let's actually pump this up to 100. And the more samples we have, the more accurate our render will be and the less little fuzz there will be and so we're going to have to do that and do little test renders to make sure that things will come out okay. Um, so we can see our glass is actually has some properties to it, which is pretty sweet. Our cool eyeballs. And uh, yeah. So what I'm noticing right now, at least aesthetically, is I want to fix the neck. A little bit and I want to make this bell bottom a plastic chunk instead of a cloth chunk because I like the way that this plate is looking here and how it's kind of it, it feels like it should progress down that way a little bit more um, like the arms are fine maybe the legs need to be more clunky all right so that is what we're gonna do next time we're going to uh, be working on the bell bottoms and other little tweaks as we continue towards completion. All right, see you next. And getting this thing ready for basically completion. Okay, all right, so let's go down here to the bottom and let us take our little thing right here and select all of these loops and let's do that. And let us change our texture from cloth to plastic. Assign, and let us go up here. Let's kind of scroll over in object mode, not in edit mode. And we're going to go and switch back to here. I'm going to fix this problem. So right now what we're doing is we're identifying problems and fixing them. And to fix that, all I did was select that loop and dragged it down. Okay. So, our bootniks are looking good, our boots are good, our cloth, I think we need to figure out a better solution for a cloth. And to do that, what we can do is, let's actually just play with it for a little bit and see what's going on here. So, diffuse, roughness, that's, it's pretty rough, it's pretty rough. Um, let's see what we can do with it. Okay. So back to our rendered and let's kind of turn on the other things so we can see what's going on here. Oh geez, that is our original eyes. And actually let's um let's move our our uh, lighting and camera setup to another channel. So up here so we can quickly just turn it on and off. Okay. Let's mess around with this cloth texture. So right now we've got the rubber, which looks pretty cool. And we should kind of mess with the cloth a little bit to make it a little bit more cloth-like. Um, so I feel like the way it absorbs light is pretty good. I think we need to change the color of it a little bit. So let's kind of up it a little bit. And if we make our plastic more reflective, then that should also allow us to have greater differentiate, but 
differentiation between those two pieces. And it's starting to look a little bit more like they're different. Okay, I can see that. Let's uh, change our cloth a little bit more. Let's darken it a little bit back to where it was. Yeah, let's, we need more contrast. We need to uh, darken it, but not make it too dark. Maybe even, like, change the color a little bit. Like, maybe it's picked up a lot, like, some debris as we've gone. Yeah. Uh, a, little, a little beige action going on there. And the booties are beige as well. So we got our shiny plastic. It's like it's well, that's too shiny. Let's uh let's drop it down a little bit. So increase the roughness a tiny smidge. Okay. Um I actually want to change these from white metal to brass. Because there's nothing else that is white metal right. Ew, that's not good. Let's go back to white metal. <laughs> that was kind of awful. Okay. Um I also want to change the inside of the helmet to a black color. Or the, the inside of this uh, neck piece to a... Let's do a black cloth. So let's take our cloth and let's make sure our dude is selected. And let's duplicate our cloth. Let's... uh, Okay, so let's now create a new material. Let's go to cloth new and let's call it black cloth okay so we'll still have the properties of it but we'll be able to drop down the color significantly and we actually need to assign it and to do that let's go back to here and let's turn off cycles over here for the time being because we don't want to render constantly uh, okay and Let's go to town. Actually, let's just select the proper inside bits, which this is proving to be completely impossible. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, okay. So, we're going to have to move this to another part of our workspace and then move it back so we can properly deal with it as we go okay oh man this is proving to be very difficult to select okay and select those let's just select all these little bits and pieces and see what we have to deselect afterwards okay what is that why why did that get selected okay now our median point is in there, showing me that we mostly have that selected. Switch to black cloth, assign, assign. <laughs> uh, it's not seemingly doing anything. Let's see what it looks like in cycles, just so we can get that going. And do hundred. Yeah, it's it's uh showing up here. Let's make it darker. Let's bump it down a little bit. Okay. So let's move our setup here back to the first channel. Let's grab all this stuff. See what we're looking at now. Ah. Um, I love that. And then we've got our little visor up here. So now that's that's looking a lot more space duty. Okay. So, I think, yeah, I think our character might be just about done. And in our next lesson, what I'd like to do is actually, yeah, in our next lesson, I would like to attempt to pose him and get him ready to, uh, to render. All right, see you next time.